We got a knowledge from the Egyptologists fighting and arguing over them uh, over the dates. And even this time of 4,500 years BCE, it's still a time period that everything that the Western world did not exist yet. And now sometimes it's hard for us to understand that chronology of time because we've been locked into a circumference, as I continue to say, to think with only within a time period at best 2,000 years. Or as James Usher would say, that the Adam and Eve story started as he gives a time period, October 9th, the world was created October 9th at 4,000 years BCE. Or, you don't like me? <laughs> you don't like what I said? <laughs> okay. So again, but then that's a mythology. You've got to understand, the Adam and Eve story is a mythology. It's allegory. Religions are made up of allegory. As I said, that without Kemet, they plagiarize ideas of creation from here. And we, the lectures, will get into that each step of the way. Of course, the lectures tonight will be on the MERS because this is what we're experiencing today. And especially we're getting you ready for the beginning of pyramid building. And that's uh, also those who need to catch that pyramid. And it's going to be hard for us to understand the fact that when we go to that pyramid, there was no Adam and Eve story yet. It did not exist yet. Okay. So this is why Kemet has always been feared by the church. Okay. Because, and also the synagogue. Okay. Why? Because they know that the stories that they created are literally plagiarized and corrupted to fit their narrative. And then above all, to make people think that these things were real. So Kemet was demonized and vilified. I grew up with Boris Karloff. I was terrified of the mummy. But it was sad to grow up to find out that that mummy, they called him M. Hotel. Here's a multi-genius. Here's the first physician. You're going to see his medical instruments when you go into Upper Kemet. Where his sister broke down and cried, who was a medical doctor. And I said, why are you crying? She said, I'm a doctor. And I had to take the Hippocratic oath that I'd practice medicine according to that of Ascalabius. She didn't know that Ascalabius was the Greek name for Emotel. And not one word was mentioned to her about the carvings of the medical instruments that she still uses to this very day. So Kemet is the world's best kept secret. The Western world did not want to expose this because white supremacy built was built on the fact that they made everybody deify them right. as the beginning. We got into the educational system. Okay. We had to take everything, Greek, Western civilization, and so forth. So our whole orientation, we, I mean, all of you, whether you know it or not, you're runaways. Mm. <laughs> still on the boat. When you ran off the plantation, they said you got drapetomania. I got a bad case of drapetomania. I've been running away. So because <laughs> considering what has been done, you should not be here. Okay, your orientation, you want to go to France. How many of your family members, when you say you're coming to Egypt, why are you going there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to get you over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, here black men and women are shot down in America every day. Yeah, you're going to ask day. why you're going to come yeah, here? That's right. That's right. That's right. I, I'm, I'm just bringing realities so we can get a clear orientation of how systematically we've been taught to go everywhere but on the African continent, and Europeans come here and enjoy this, yeah. but they don't want to see you here. Right. Well, wait till you get into Upper Egypt. That's right. You're going to become more interested than the monuments. When you come, and the first thing they ask, what church group are you with? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the original. See? Okay. Because you'll see the Chinese here, you'll see the uh, French here, you'll see the Italians here. Nobody asks the question. They're not used to seeing all black folks. See? Because our orientation, they know that we were trained to go to France to Greece. Now I've been to those places. There's nothing wrong with going to Europe. I went there to see what they stole. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go there, that's, you will go look and look at the thievery. Not the not, not to be glorified. Why you want to glorify the thief? All right. Look at the look at the Tekanu the right there at Dita Concord Square. Where Apple Tower got his desire from. Go and go to England and look and see the big band right down the street. You see Men Capra to the Maze a Tekanu right down the street. Right. So go to see the thievery, mm -hmm. all right, and and you'll enjoy yourself. 
Okay. Because you're, you're an undercover brother and sister. You're getting those pictures so you can reveal. So, all right. Be a spook sitting by the door. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't go tell the white folks on the job now. <laughs> Okay. I know who you are. I've been to Egypt. No, tell them you went to the Vatican. Right. <laughs> you get your pants better that way. That's what I used to say when I was in the system. I said, where are you going to see? I said, I got to see the Sistine Chapel. Okay. <laughs> you always got your pants. But see, when you come here, there's, there's something working. There's something going on there. Mm -hmm. Why are you going there? Mm -hmm. Family member. So I'm, I'm, I'm bringing some things here because I want to open up some doors because we got a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. But we got to have a door opening for these things to take place. All right. So we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to enjoy each other like we should enjoy each That's other. Right. Okay. And without having a fear that, you know, he's on your shoulder, the job, whatever. Be free. It's not comfortable. You left them in. You left them way over in America. It's all right. All right. We're gonna have a great time, brothers and sisters, because it's all about what? Freedom. That's freedom. right. Freedom to think. Freedom to know who we are. Give up your undivided attention as he talks about the merge. Yes. Uh, brothers and sisters, this morning we said that Aket Kofo is the great pyramid. Why Aket Kofo is a great pyramid? Because it contains 6.5 million tons of stone. Because it is composed of 2.3 million blocks of stone. Because the blocks of stone inside the great pyramid can be uh, sectioned into uh, cubes and these cubes could cover two-thirds of the Earth's periphery at the equator. Because these blocks could build a city for 120,000 people to live in. Mm. Because Napoleon himself, Napoleon himself computed and calculated that the pyramids of Giza could be used to build a wall around the whole of France, wow. which is 10 feet high, one foot wide, okay? Because the Akit Kofo contains 16 Empire State Building. Mm. Because the Akit Kofo contains 600 stone hinge. Because the Akit Kofo's engineering could never be replicated by any modern engineer or any modern establishment on the planet. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that Akit Kofo is the Great Pyramid. This is the only survivor of the ancient seven wonders of the world. And he shouldn't be among them because he is unique. Because he had lasted over thousands of years and the others were dwarf, dwarfs compared to him. Now, looking from here, where is the Great Pyramid and which pyramid is the biggest? Which one? Yeah, the first one. The one on the left. The on the now left. you have succeeded the quest. Do you pass the quest? Because Kafra is deceiving us into believing that his pyramid is taller than his father because his pyramid was built on a 30 feet higher ground mm. and because the angle of his pyramid is steeper and also because the apex or the summit of the pyramid is more preserved than the summit of Kofo's pyramid. Yeah, those pyramids also line up here could confirm the theory that